So in, in 50 years, I think the world will, uh, in terms of technology, uh, really change and really this concept I call proximity of tech, which is how close the technology is to your body. And right now, we're, it's kind of silly. We like hold things and we wear things and it's kind of at our hands, right? At our feet, right? And we might put it on, you know, over our faces, but the whole point is just getting it into our eyeballs, into our ears, into our stomachs. Ingestible is already a thing. It's crazy. Like you, you literally ingest these, these, these uh, pills, these robot pills that can, you know, obviously uh, see what you're eating and all these things and all your caloric intake. It's amazing. And then you know, you've heard of startups like Magic Leap, where they're, or, yeah, Magic Leap, where they're doing like, you know, AR for your world where I should just be able to load my email and do this and like do this right, like that's literally what will happen I think in 50 years is everything will just come inside. And that to me is, is really, really exciting. Many applications that today we perform unassisted will in fact be assisted operation. So a surgeon or a nurse in a hospital who's working on a patient will have an angel on his or her shoulder looking over him or her and offering helpful guidance when perhaps he has, he's about to make a mistake. Should I contact the ground station? In 50 years time I think we will see very diverse uh, mobility, we will have uh, autonomous cars and I think we will still have manual driven cars. Um, because it's really the choice of the, of the customer. By safety reasons, we will make the conventional cars also very safe. That so means it's not necessary that we really need completely autonomous driving only driven by, by safety. So what will the world look like in 50 years' time? Well, sadly, it's anybody's guess. So there are projections where the world is fantastic, we've got rid of poverty, we're all living in some kind of harmonious situation, we've all got technology at our fingertips. And there are other projections where the development of technology might lead to things like really wide-scale unemployment, and it might lead to people really being hooked into their machines. We could, we could, I think, reach a much better world where people are living a more human life, in fact, as a response to this technology. And I think if we don't push it in that direction, we could have a very, very dystopian future. It's very hard to predict the future 50 years ahead. What I'm sure about, though, is that it will never be a, an artificial intelligence, a super intelligence that just takes over humans, but rather is going to be perhaps brain-machine interfaces that enables us as humans to combine our horizontal intelligence with the vertical execution capabilities of artificial intelligence. Because the combination of the two is far better than either of them alone. What do I think the world will look like in 50 years' time? Um, I hope I'm going to be around. Uh, I think it's going to be better, more beautiful. Uh, I think we're going to live in a world where we are not just seeing what we want to see, but hopefully where we are being, from a media perspective, uh, also inspired um, and challenged to think differently, uh, but all hopefully for, for the good of mankind and humanity. I think the world is going to be great.